Hey guys. I haven't had a car for fucking three weeks now. I happen to be very fucking frustrated right now because... Some of you might know, some of you might not know... How important it is to have a vehicle to get around, to go from place A, to place B, to place C, D, E, F, and all that shit. It's not easy to have to wait and depend on... I have to wait for my mom, my dad, to finish using their truck so that I may borrow it. So I can't no longer... And I don't have a car. I can't rent a car right now because I don't have money. I can't afford that. It's expensive. Everything is fucking money. Money this, money that. So I have to work around other people's schedules. I have to work my schedule around their schedule. In order for me to do my things, today's my day off. It's 2 o'clock and I'm barely able to get the truck so I can start my shit. When on a usual day, I can get up and go. At what? 9, 10... Whatever the fuck time I want. (sighs) The system really keeps you enslaved. Right now, I work in a cubicle. I don't know how big it is. Who fucking cares? It's a jail cell, okay? So, see, they they, they tell you that you're free because I'm not in jail and I'm not in prison. I'm supposed to be free. How the fuck am I free when I work from 8 in the morning to 6.30 p.m.? And then I don't just work from 8 to 6.30. I work every other fucking minute that I'm investing towards that fucking job. I'm working there, too. So if I'm getting up and getting dressed and shit and driving to work, that's work time as well. That is time being taken away from me. So I don't fucking work from 8 to 6.30. I woke up, I work from the fucking second I wake up to go to work to the fucking second I get home. And I detox from that shit. That's how long I fucking work. And it's not 10 hours a day, it's more than that. I get off at 6.30 p.m. I get home around 7 And I'm supposed to have a well-balanced life, okay? So I'm supposed to be fit. I'm supposed to be slim as a woman. Because society tells you that you're supposed to be fucking skinny. And all this fucking bullshit. You're supposed to live up to these these models. Because it... it, So you're supposed to have all this shit, right? A well-balanced life. You're supposed to sleep well. In order to do that, you're supposed to sleep well. Eat well. Be well. In two areas. That means that you have to be happy. And that you have to be happy. You can't be stressed the fuck out and shit. You know. You can't have worries about money. And worries about. Oh I can't spend time with my family. Because of fucking work. I can't do that. Because of fucking work. Oh I can't go to this random vacation. That I'm freaking invited to. I fucking would love to. Because of fucking work. I didn't sign up for that shit. I was not born to be brought to work. My mind feels enslaved in a fucking cubicle. Because I'm a creative person and my mind wants to create and it wants to do. And that's why I can't sit there. That's why children can't sit there. Learning from a fucking textbook and then they call us fucking bipolar and ADD and ADHD and all this stupid shit. Because we don't want to sit there. We want to learn real stuff. We want to go out there. We want to look at the sun, look at the sky, socialize, touch people. Touch their souls. We want to love. We don't want to regurgitate stupid shit that we're taught. And then if you fail, guess what? You're a fucking loser. You got an F, pendejo. And that person over there, she got an A. How the fuck is that making me feel better? Why? What if I'm a fucking fish and I can't climb up the fucking tree like that fucking monkey? Huh? That's not fair. (sighs) 
So right now I don't have a car. For three weeks I haven't had one. I've been um, borrowing my parents' car. They've been dropping me off at work, picking me up, or I borrow the car whenever they don't need it for that day. I ask friends for rides. I get on the bus, whatever the fuck I have to do, I walk. I get on the bike, whatever. So, why are you complaining, Lucia? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and go do something about it. Free yourself. Oh, yeah, it's that easy. Okay, let me see. How can I do it? If I'm stuck at a job 10 fucking hours a day, and I get home at 7, so from uh, you're, I'm supposed to have a, a balanced life. Let's go back to that shit that I was talking about. So, that means I have to sleep good and all that shit, right? So, from 7 o'clock to 10 p.m., because that's literally all I fucking have, because I would have to be asleep by 10 to get up at 6. That would be 8 hours of sleep. That's what you need. Okay, you don't need four, five, and no, no, I need more than that. Why the fuck should I have to sacrifice my fucking sleep, my rest, to go work and make money and hustle? Fuck that shit. I need to get my beauty sleep. So I need to sleep, I need to be asleep by 10, okay, so that I can sleep six hours. I mean, eight hours. So that means that from 7 to 10 p.m., Four or five days a week, however however many days a, a, a week you work, because uh, some of us work 40 hours a week, some of us work more, okay? Some of us have one job, some of us have more. So, at one point I remember I had two. They weren't full-time though, but it was hard. I've been working since I was 14 years old. I'm tired of fucking working. A 14-year-old girl creative mind that knew how to dance and sing and play the piano and all this shit working to make money because her dad didn't make enough her mom didn't make enough and it's not because the parents were incompetent it's because that's the way society fixes it so that it makes it look like the man doesn't make enough the woman doesn't make enough and then it makes us say, oh my god, my husband, he sucks, or he's no good, or or whatever. Or my wife, you know, this and that, or uh, she's fat and she's ugly, because she doesn't look like the girls on TV. And my husband, he doesn't make money like my girlfriend's husband does. You know what I'm saying? It makes us compare each other and shit, and not value what we really have. Like, if you really just look, all you really need, it's right in front of you. I have to come up with an idea to free myself. To free my spirit. And when I say free myself, I mean something, you know how they say find a job that you like, find something that you like, do it, get paid for it, so it's not. Hi guys, Lucy here. Today's September 19th, 2017. It's probably between 6 and 7 right now. I was recording a video earlier, doing some sun gazing right now. Hey guys. So earlier I was recording a video, but my phone got really heated and it stopped on its own. It stopped me right on my tracks. I was talking about, oh, and I was, I was heated up, man. I was lit. I was mad. I was frustrated. But right now I feel a little better. I was frustrated because of my car situation right now and how no matter how many hoops and loops you go through it seems like it's they just make it so hard almost impossible and then i started talking about the system and how it works and everything so anyway i was saying that i'm gonna have to think of a way to free myself right to free my spirit and my soul because being inside a cubicle is not freeing to me it's not feeding my soul or my spirit in any which way or form that's how i see it and i feel it because that job is a job that i have so that i can get I can get paper with green makeup on it and what is that paper for that paper is so that I can have a place to live in so that I can have food to eat so that I can have some sort of security right 
because that's what money brings you, right? Some sort of security. It can also bring you fun moments. It brings you liberty. It brings you... I'm not saying happiness. I think the, the reason why people think that money brings you happiness is because money gives you freedom. Money gives you more options, more freedom. And that freedom lets you do things that are fun to you, right? Because most likely, if you have money, aren't you going to choose activities that you like, right? Okay, so when you choose activities that you like, what happens to your brain? Oh, you get excited and happy and all this good stuff, right? So what happens when you're doing shit you don't like? Oh, you get depressed, fuck the shit, you know, you drink, whatever the fuck you got to do to get over that shit, right? To detox from that. So when you do things that are good for your mind and your soul, it's like rejuvenating to you. It keeps you glowing. It keeps you happy. So maybe that's what they mean by money brings happiness, okay? I don't think that money is happiness. I think that the system uses money to control you and keep you um, to keep you on a leash. So that's, I go to work so I can get money, okay? So that I can obtain all these things, okay? So that I can get happiness, yada, 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 yada. So I have to find a way to be able to do that but for something that I enjoy doing. So I have to come up with something. We all do have to come up with something because man, isn't it boring doing something you don't like? I don't wanna do that for the rest of my life. I most certainly am not anyway because I have other plans. It's like we're living in hell right now. If you ever think about it, look up in the dictionary. What is hell? A place of torment and torture. What do you do on a daily basis here on earth? Work. And you know what work is? Torture. At least to me it is. I don't know. Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy being a slave? They say that you're free. So I'm supposed to do, well, let's go back to the stuff that I was talking about. Torture. We're going to come back to that, okay? How you live in hell right now. This is hell. You're living in hell right now. Why do you think you, you're you waiting for someone to come and save you? Why? Because you're in hell. So I'm supposed to do all these things within three hours. I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be healthy, so that means I have to exercise. I'm supposed to be healthy as well from my mind and everything, so I'm supposed to sleep well. I'm supposed to eat well, so I have to have time to cook. I have to have time to exercise. I have to have time to do my homework as well because I go to school. So I have to have time. Well, right now I'm on a little break, but I have to have time for that, right? So that's three things already, and I have to have time to clean up the house, you know, because you got to clean up and stuff. Then I got to have time for my friends because maybe I want to talk to them or say hi to them or something. I'm supposed to be a daughter. Um, I'm supposed to, and, and when I say I'm supposed to, it doesn't mean I'm forced. That's just a figure of speech. I want to, okay? So I'm supposed to do all these things, right? Be a daughter, be a sister, be a, a, a mother to my, my little babies, my, my two dogs. And be a friend, and um, I'm supposed to read and, and, and do all this stuff, right? That I just said, homework and all that stuff. In three hours, right? Did you get that? Three hours. How do... I don't have time. For real? Oh, it's a sacrifice. It's because everything that's worth it is is nothing comes easy. And you have to sacrifice yourself. So you might have to lose some sleep. Well, I, you guys already know how I feel that about that. Fuck that shit. My sleep is, is very important. Okay? I love to sleep. I don't know about you, but it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I enjoy it. Because your body needs it. There's a time for everything. So sleeping time should be sleeping time. Okay? So I'm supposed to do all these things. There's no time. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Time is the new currency, just like in the movie, in time. Your time, I go to work and I give them my time. What do they give me in return? Paper with green makeup on it. So that I can obtain what? Liberty and happiness. Because that gives me what? Freedom. Some, wait, some sort of freedom or happiness or whatever. 
the money gives you liberty, happiness, freedom, and all this stuff is just an illusion. It's all fake. You don't have any of that. Because in reality, you shouldn't even be paying for that shit. Why should I have to pay to live on Earth? This is my fucking land. You know what I mean? So what makes these people, the, the ones in power, what makes them... Yeah, you know what? I, you you got to work and you got to do this and this and this. And um, it has to be eight hours a day. Why eight? Why not five? Why not four or three? Why does it have to be eight? Why do you have to cut my day off like that? That's a lot. I have no problem with working, but why so much time? Why are you taking my time away so that I don't have time to create and think? Huh? That's why you're doing it. So that I can get stressed out and shit. So that people can steal and kill for money. For people can get mad at each other for that shit. There's so much negativity just flowing through the air. Hey, Papa, deja eso. You know what I mean? So I was saying that the reason you live in hell is because... So hell is a place of torment and torture. In and out. All day long, 24-7. If you think about it, there is not a single second in this world. Hey, deja eso, mama. Where the entire population, humanity, is not working. Because someone is always working. They're either working in the morning, or they're working at night, or they're working graveyard, or during the day, in the middle of the day. In and out, 24-7. Because everything is by the books. Everything. Quasi Luminous was right. Go to Quasi Luminous channel for truth immediately and you will be saved. It's not anything evil. It's not evil. I promise you. At least in my heart, my true intentions are only good. I'm a little frustrated today as well because this weekend I went to a fourth flat earth meetup at Santa Monica and I had a fabulous freaking time. Okay, a great time. We were at the corner of Santa Monica uh, Pier and we were advertising the flat earth and I had great footage. Okay, I'm going to put it up later eventually. Um, but what happened is I accidentally deleted one of the videos and I really liked it because Aaron was just awesome. He went in the salsa crowd. There was a salsa crowd, right? At the, at the Santa Monica. It was, it was a promenade. I'm not sure. It was this long strip, right? Of, 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 uh, stores and stuff like that. And I saw a, let me just describe it to you so you get, the, cause you guys will not be able to see the video anymore. <sighs> Man. I wish you could have seen it, man. I fucking loved it. It was just beautiful to me because I was like, yeah, the flat earth, that's what's up. <laughs> I was like, woohoo, that's what's up. Go, Aaron. So um, I saw this crowd of salsa dancers and I realized, oh, they're advertising probably their salsa academy, right? And um, I was recording and I just was recording and I was telling the camera how much I don't just like the flat earth projects and stuff like that to look into that as a hobby. But... I also do like salsa dancing and, and drawing and playing the piano when I used to remember because I don't remember right now and singing and dancing and all that good stuff. Um, but I was telling the camera that and then all of a sudden Aaron walks in and he has his um, his flattered sign and he's walking around with it like this and just it was just freaking awesome. You guys have, have had to have been there to, to have seen it. But I lost that video because I accidentally deleted it. I was just so excited to go through them and I couldn't wait until I got home and I clicked delete and I went through all this bullshit trying to get that video back. I still haven't been able to, but I'm just going to say that I'm going to get it back. But we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, you guys, this day has been brought to you by frustration. And, um, hey, you guys get over here. My babies are just being, I don't know, they're just being babies. Oh, my baby. This is my princess. Come here. Come here. Make a cameo. Come here, you guys. Say what's up. Say what's up. Oh, my princess. My princess. That's my yin and yang. Anyway, that's it. So, anyway, those are the thoughts of the day.
I'm sure I have a way more to talk about. And you know what? As I as I'm as I'm talking, I'm thinking to myself, man, I wish I had like a board right here. You know what? That's a great idea. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a board, and I'm gonna put uh, pinpoint some things that I want to talk about, and I'm just gonna pretend like I'm a teacher, and I'm just gonna write it out. When I was a little girl, I remember doing that with my brother and sister. They were little, and I remember thinking I wanted to be a teacher. That was interesting. But anyway, yeah, as I'm talking, sometimes I wish I had something that I could just... Because I have so many thoughts going through my head, and I don't remember them all, so I wish I had a pen. Like, I wish I had my camera right there and a pen so I could just be writing it, everything down because I have all these thoughts so I can just tell them to you again because I think them through in my mind, but I want to make sure that you guys hear them too. So I'm sure I have a lot more to say. But I'll have to wrap it up and do it another time. Because right now, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that's all, folks. How about that? So, if you're having a bad day and if you're fucking frustrated like me, just hang in there. Because I know it's tough, dude. I fucking know. I know sometimes it's hard or maybe you go in that dark place. If you guys go in that dark place... For all my my spiritual spirits, you understand what I mean. Hang in there. And if you don't go in that dark place but it's still kind of dark for you, hang in there too. There's going to be a way. We're going to find a way out. We're going to get out of here alive. You guys have a fabulous day. Be good to people. Be kind. Have courage. Be awesome and shine and smile. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Bye-bye.